Hello and welcome to Dishing the Lights. My name is Jenica and today I'm going to share with you three Instant Pot ground beef recipes. Let's get to it. The first recipe I'm going to share with you is a ground beef stroganoff. All right, right now I am browning the second batch of my mushrooms. Pretending like I'm on Julie and Julia. <laughs> And then after I lay these on here, I'm going to brown my ground beef in the Instant Pot. I probably could have just tossed these into the Instant Pot, but I have the time, so I'm going to brown my mushrooms. All right, I'm gonna let these sit here, and I'm going to have you come over here, and we're gonna brown some ground beef. What I'm doing here is I'm just gonna take the three pounds of ground beef and I'm just going to cook it all up because I got a couple different recipes to use it for. This is gonna take a bit. Just so this cooks faster and my onions are done. I'm going to take some of this and add it to my cast iron. While that's going, I'm going to dice up my onion. I'm going to drain this a bit. I'm now going to add in my onions. You can't see that, huh? I'm just gonna let those cook just like that for a little bit longer. I don't mind if this ground beef gets super crispy. So I'm kind of combining a bunch of different recipes, so I hope that this works out. I'm going to add some salt to this ground beef. All right, I'm gonna take my garlic and I'm gonna add it in there just for a minute. Just gonna add a little bit of oil to that. To really get that garlic flavor in there. Now just, when you smell the garlic, then we're gonna start getting things moving. All right, I can smell the garlic now. So I'm gonna mix that in real good. Now I'm, I only have eight ounces of onions because the package that I had was only eight ounces. So I kind of cut the mushrooms in half, but I don't really want to mix my canned onions with actual onions. Then we're going to add a can of onion soup mix. I haven't cooked with this in so long. Now I'm going to take four cups of beef broth and then one can of cream of mushroom. and two cans of cream of mushroom. I'm going to take my little spatula and get all of that goodness out. Now 
Now, the last thing we're gonna do is take a pound of egg noodles. Oh my goodness, how is this gonna work? I am so confused. Okay, just cause I'm nervous, I'm going to add in another can of broth. So this is a cup and a half of water. That might be too much. I'll let you know in the description box down below. <laughs> All right, now we are going to put this now we're gonna put this on high pressure for three minutes. Wish me luck. I hate when I try a new recipe and I'm feeding people that I don't normally feed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, hold on. I almost forgot the most important part. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I would have been so mad at myself. All right, it has been 10 minutes. Oh no, did it ever come to pressure? I am so confused right now. I guess it did come to pressure. Now what I'm going to do is take a cup of sour cream Let me do a little taste test. Pretty good. All right, I'm gonna call them up for lunch. This turned out so delicious. This recipe turned out to be an absolute hit. After they ate lunch, they went back out to do more work on the bridge and it's starting to look more and more like a bridge every weekend. The second recipe I am going to share with you is a delicious instant pot chili. All right, so I'm gonna make a quick chili. I have some beef bouillon here. I have one medium onion. I have some brown sugar, some crushed tomatoes, two cans of beans, a packet of chili seasoning, some ground beef, I'm going to use half of this, so it's about a pound of ground beef that I'll use. And then I also have this frozen block of green peppers that I just took out of the freezer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my onion in with this, and then we'll start cooking up a chili. All right, I'm getting impatient, so I'm going to add my ground beef. What I'm going to do here is add in my chili seasoning and then a little bit of water. I have four cups of water total. I don't know how much I'm going to use yet. Oh, that smells delicious. All right, I gotta change your battery real quick. All right, so that is fully incorporated. So now what I'm going to do is add in my can of crushed tomatoes. I'm going to combine that. Now I'm going to add in 
my two cans of beans. Whoa, and the rest of what was four cups of water. I'm also going to throw in a tablespoon of beef bouillon. If you didn't want to do that, you could have just added four cups of beef broth instead of the water. Now I also have a jar of these jalapenos and I'm going to add in a tablespoon or two of those. Now because we like it spicy, I'm also going to add in a little bit of cayenne and just a little bit of cumin. This is my favorite. And then we're going to set it to the chili setting. We're gonna let this cook. I'm gonna clean out the rest of that can of tomatoes. All right, I'm going to release this now. It's been natural releasing for 16 minutes. All right, now that that is released, what is it? All right, I'm gonna open it up. I'm going to grab a spoon and do a little taste test. Oh my goodness, that's delicious. But it does need some brown sugar. So I'll add like a half a tablespoon of brown sugar. That'll break down that acidic flavor. We'll make that a whole tablespoon of brown sugar. All right, that should be absolutely perfect. I can't wait to eat one of those jalapenos out of here. All right, I'm going to serve it up. Going to add some cheese and some sour cream. This chili turned out absolutely delicious. I highly recommend you trying out your chili recipe in the Instant Pot. The third recipe I am going to share with you is a Korean ground beef recipe. All right, so I have this on saute. I just cooked some rice on this and I just put it in some containers for later. I have some sesame oil that I'm going to put in the bottom of this Instant Pot. You do not need too much of that. And in the first recipe, I cooked up three and, a, three and a half pounds of ground beef. And this is one and a half pounds of ground beef. It's already completely cooked through, so I'm just adding it to that sesame oil to get that flavor. Remember, sesame oil has a pretty strong flavor. I'm gonna cut up my garlic. It says eight cloves of garlic. But as you can see, some of our garlic is really big cloves. That is giant. All right, I have a bunch of garlic. We're going to cook that until it's fragrant. And then we're gonna go all in. Now I'm going to take this ginger and microplane it in. I'm gonna add two thirds cup of water. I'm 
going to add a quarter cup of brown sugar. I'm going to mix that together real quick. I'm going to add a third cup of soy sauce. And then I'm gonna keep working on that ginger a little bit. I wanna make sure I get a whole lot of that flavor. I keep nubs of this in my freezer, so I always have ginger on hand because it really brings a lot of flavor to recipes. Wow, this smells amazing. I'm going to add like half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. It calls for a quarter teaspoon. And then I'm also going to add a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to add a little bit more soy sauce. And a little bit more brown sugar. Stir it. And then I'm gonna pressure cook it for four minutes on high. I'm going to clean up this giant mess that I made. This has been natural releasing for 12 minutes. Smells delicious. That garlic, mm, wow, that is delicious. I love the garlic, I love the spice. I'm gonna set this aside for tonight's dinner. I cooked this a little bit early because I'm not sure when my husband's going to be home. Ooh, it's got a little kick to it. I'm going to serve up some of the Korean beef. I'm going to serve it with some broccoli. I'm also gonna serve a side salad. I'm going to get a small scoop of that beef mixture. Some green onions to top it. And that is what's for dinner tonight. Korean beef with rice and broccoli. This turned out to be my favorite of the ground beef recipes. The sweet and spicy is the perfect combo and it was absolutely delicious served over rice. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching.